to even money. And they're racing. Storm Boys jumped out quite well on the outside. A node was clearly first out from Duvana Traffic Warden. And Storm Boy not showing tremendous muster. Caught wide in the early part with Viennara there. Fearless between them. Three lengths further back to Manala. Then came Duvana. And Coleman's going to settle last of all. So Enode shows the way from Traffic Warden. Prost on the outside in the pale blue cap. The roughy Vinara rails into fourth. Then came Fearless. And Storm Boy is off the track here in a three-wire position with cover. They're followed further back by Duvana from Manal and Coleman's last of a bunching field. So I know just in front from Traffic Ward and Prost seeing plenty of daylight. So Storm Boy. Then came Vianara behind them on the inside of Fearless. Well back then Duvana from Manal and Coleman is about four lengths off the lead last of all. So what a bunch field here in the English size. And a node should have a good kick here. It's been a soft lead. A node swings in front from Traffic Ward and then came Fearless. Storm Boy's been wide but now McDonald gives the cult, the queue. A no being tackled by Traffic Warden, 2.50 to go. Then Storm Boy, Fearless Manal's winding up on the outside and Coleman as well. Traffic Warden races to the lead. Storm Boy's in trouble. Traffic Warden being joined by Coleman. Manal wide out. It's Traffic Warden. Manal. Manal going to Traffic Warden. They're wide apart. They hit it. Oh, Manal's put a bob in. So did Traffic Warden. Tight. Traffic Warden and Manal from uh, Coleman in third. Followed them by Pross Storm Boy. Further back to Fearless, a node blindfold off the mare. Racing, she jumped out with them. Marzu's handled the start quite well. This is a good rush for the lead. Bella Nipotina, Cole Crusher there, and Imperatory settles fourth. Chain of Lightning up the fence. Followed then by Aft Cabin, Sunshine in Paris, Driss back. Magic times there on the rails from Johnny Rocker, and I wish I went in a three-wide position, cluttered up. Sunshine in Paris goes back from Wellinga Beast. Then came Buenos Notches, and Espiona is last of all. It's Marzu and Cole Crusher. Bella Nipotina splitting the pair in third. Then came Chain of Lightning, and Peritree's in the right spot. Aft Cabin keeping her company, and Zach just moves up on the outside to keep her in a pocket, in I wish I went, gets onto the back of half cabin followed them by Johnny Rocker and Magic Time coming into the straight now and Cole Crusher moved to a narrow lead. Bella Nipotina it's go time for Bella. Up the inside is Chain of Lightning. Chain of Lightning the grey and Bella Nipotina Magic Time running on. Imperatrice grinding. I wish I win. Is starting to launch his attack and then came Sunshine in Paris. Chain of Lightning Bella Nipotina. Chain of Lightning Bella Nipotina. Chain of Lightning kicking. Chain of Lightning's won the TJ. Betting Bella Bella Nipotina, and I wish I win. Imperatrice close up. Espiona flashing home, then sunshine in Paris magic time. And the big field are on their way. Another wheel's jumped out of the gates quite nicely. Palmetto there. Another wheel goes forward together with Pericles. And Fearson showing plenty of muster wide out. They're followed by Militarised Handy with Lady Laguna. Navajo Peak just behind the leading clump court wide. Further back then to Nugget. From Obam Buramai pushing through. Lindemann's wider out then detonated Jack Barkshire Shadow. Two lengths away to Lock Eagle. Celestial Legend's going to settle well back in the field. Two lengths to Kovalika from Democracy Manifest. Rustic Steel is last. Fearson from Gate 19 crossed them. He's going to lead easily. It's Fearson out by two or three lengths from Think About It and Another Will. Racing in second and third, followed by Navajo Peak three wide, followed then by Pericles on the outside of Militarise. A length further back to Lady Laguna from Obam Buramai hinged us off the course, followed then by Palmetto towards the inside. Nugget in the white cap starting a wider run, Lindemann out deep. Well back Barkshire Shadow, Detonator Jack and the yellow jacket coming off the fence. Celestial Legend starting to track into it as they come around the corner and think about it, moves up to Fierce and another wheel is cruising up on the outside and now Car said go and another wheel going after think about it, Pericles stays on well over on the inside it's Militarised launching his attack and further back to Obam Buramai up the inside Militarised, wide out Pericles, Pericles and Militarised fighting it out for the moment Nugget bursting through and here he is Celestial Legend bombing them wide out, Celestial Legend won the Doncaster, nailing I think Pericles or Militarise then came Nugget further back to Detonator Jack another will think about it Palmetto racing now Zen Master squeezed out at the start 
And off the inside, Gambare jump well. Glad you think so, given a wind up. And why Mark's going forward, together with Adagio, so the pace all right early. Capara settles fifth in advance of Tom Kidd, and then came Chea Wolf immediacy. Uh, Bow from the inside, Noisy Boy, the favourite Riff Rocket, third last from Zen Master, and Hooligan Tommy's last of all. So glad you think so is going to gallop them to the front at the 2,000 metres by a length on the inform Y mark. Gambare took the sit in third, and Tom Kidden parks three back the inside of Adagio. Now taking off on the outside or slowly moving forward is immediacy. Um, just plotting a little bit though at the moment on the outside of Cap Ferrar and Noisy Boy buried down on the fence. Two lengths for the back to Chea Wolf in the running line. A half the inside Zen Master. Then came Riff Rocket and Hooligan Tommy last. A mile to go and glad you think so in front here in the hands of Rachel King led by two. Two wide Mark and Gambare and Adagio in fourth position peeling three wide now at this point. So uh, Regan Bayless is taking closer order. The stablemate Gambare is locked up behind them, so Adagio rolls forward now and will sit outside. Glad you think so. Why Mark retains cover now in third position, clear from Gambare. Then came immediacy. Tom Kitten midfield the fence. A length and a half to Cap Farrar. Then came Noisy Boy. A length further back to Chea Wolf, Send Master. The hot favourite Riff Rocket is still a second last at this point and two lengths away to Hooligan Tommy. A thousand to go now. Now, glad you think so. Leads by two lengths. Adagio, who improved his position at the halfway mark, is a clear second now. Three lengths away to Y mark. The pace is pretty genuine here. They're well strung out. Gambare in fourth. Now Hieronymus off the fence there on Tom Kitten, trying to improve at this point. And on the outside is Immediacy, just keeping him in a pocket. Then Noisy Boy from Cap Farrar, Chea Wolf, and Riff Rockets going up the inside. So he's going to need a bit of luck, the favourite, as they come around the turn. Glad you think so. Two lengths clear from Adagio. A gap back then to Weimark under plenty of pressure. Then came Gambare. Riff Rocket slicing through the pack. He's got the run now. Good enough. Glad you think so. A dominant leader at the 250. But Riff Rocket's eating up the ground. And here's Chea Wolf. Chea Wolf wide out. Coming with a big run. Riff Rocket through the middle. Chea Wolf wide out. It's Riff Rocket and Chea Wolf in a great derby finish. Riff Rocket, Chea Wolf. Nothing in this. Riff Rocket just in front. Clings on. Riff Rocket beat Chair Wolf. Glad you think so. Third than Tom Kedena. Then came immediacy from Weimar Cap Farrar. Racing now. The favourite orchestral was one of the last out with Autumn Angel and Zardozzi. All the, the popular ones a bit tardy and Bush Girl bounded out of the gates in front. Showing a bit of speed there is Quintessa towards the inside and dances with who's is starting to muster. Tutar Levita is going into a prominent position as well. Followed by True Ferry on the inside of orchestral is up running fifth now. Two lengths further back to Basilina. A similar margin to Autumn Angel from Piplup and Zardozzi is going to settle at the tail of the field and about 10 lengths off the leader, which is one of the roughies, Bush Girl, out by a length and a half. Dances with who's second, Quintessa gets a good spot third. Two lengths away to Tutard Levita, followed by True Ferry, and the raging favourite orchestral is shooting for six consecutive wins today. It's right on the back of Tutard Levita. Two lengths then to Basilina, followed by Autumn Angel, who snookered on the rails, a length to Piplup, and Zardozzi is last of all. So about a dozen lengths covers the field now, and it's Bush Girl at the 1400 metres by two lengths. In second position, the Ruffy dances with Hoos. So big odds, the first two Quintessa into a clear third. Several lengths further back to True Ferry on the inside at Tutar Levita. So the pace has been certainly genuine enough. There's been no need for any moves there at the 1200 metres. Orchestral's back fifth last from Autumn Angel. Then came Basilina Zardozzi slightly improving. And now Pip Lup is the last one. So they race to the side of the course now at the 1000 metres and Bush Girl ensuring a good tempo. Out by three lengths on Dances with Who's. Quintessa third. Then Tutar Levita on the outside of True Ferry. Orchestral still travelling sweetly in the second half of the field. Just waiting to be given her cue. A gap further back to Autumn Angel is right back on the inside of Basilina. Then Zardozzi and Piplup last of all. The margin between top end to tail extends now. Bush Girl three lengths clear. Approaching the corner. Bush 
Bush Girl from Dances with Who's, Quintessa, Tuta Levita gets going, and Orchestral pulls right to the outside, five off the lead. Bush Girl's given a good side up front. She's coming back to them quickly, and now Orchestral with Quintessa winding up. Zardesi with a good run wide out, and Autumn Angels coming off heels. Orchestral got to the front at the 200. Under siege from Zardesi and Autumn Angel through the middle. Zardesi and Autumn Angel. Orchestral needs to lift. Autumn Angel getting the upper hand and Autumn Angel won the Australian Oaks beating Zardozzi and Orchestral. Quintessa fourth followed by Tuta Levita a gap back in the field to Basilina and they're off and racing oh one's flopped out of the gates a clear last was a maid a maid is ten lengths out the back and Major Bill last year's derby winner jumped brilliantly Carla pour away nicely in second and Ma Rajan goes forward out deep on the outside of Manzois. Then came Serpentine, who's a few lengths off the lead in the early part and is going between runners. Stockman, it's outside. Circle of Fire's firing up a little bit in the early stages, followed by Glentane, is buried down on the rails. Ash run in the middle of the ruck. They're followed further back by Loft down on the fence. Uh, further back in the field then to uh, Athabaskan, who's on a three-wide par from So Dazzling. Then came Salino, mostly cloudy. A mate recovered after the tardy start and has put military mission now back in last position. Rolling down towards the post, it's Major Beale and Stockman, and the pace is all right here. Major Beale from Stockman. We don't often see Stockman eyeballing a front runner. He's a half length away with one lap to go. This dual New Zealand Cup winner over two miles, Ma Rajan, in a very handy third. In advance of Man Zoyce, and then came Carla Poor fifth. Now, the favourite circle of fires on a three wide path has been keen in the early stages, so Andrea Ratzini allows the favourite to slide forward, circle of fire. Serpentine getting close to heels, one off the fence. Athabaskan in the dark blue cap, the outside. They're followed by Loft on the inside of Ash Runner. Further back to Salino from So Dazzling. Our third last is mostly cloudy from a maid. And last of all is Military Mission. So it's Major Bill shaking off Stockman now. Going to the mile mark. And Major Bill's got the lead on his own now. By two and a half to Stockman. Maharaj on into a clear third as they work down the back of the course. Now Circle of Fire puts his head into fourth position on the outside of Manzois than Carla Poor. Now further back then to Athabaskan, who's on a wider path gradually improving. They're followed further back to Glen Tanius, who's down to towards the inside running rail on the inside of Serpentine. Two lengths further back to Loft on the inside of Ash Runner. Then came Selena, who won the Sydney Cup here three years ago. It's parked down on the inside of So Dazzling. Then mostly cloudy from a maid. And military mission is still last of all. The Sydney Cup field thunder to where the race started. And it's Major Bill in front by three quarters to Stockman. Followed by Circle of Fire edging into a clear third, but in a three-wide position. Then Manzois, Maharaj and in between runners. Athabaskan, three wide with a bit of cover. Further back to Carla Poor, buried down on the inside of Serpentine. Further back to Ash Run. Now Rachel King starting a runner, mostly cloudy up wide at the 600 metres. Loft is going between runners as they come up to the home turn. Now Major Beale in front by a length and a half. Manzois travels up nicely on the inside. Circle of fire looping. Athabaskans chiming in. Uh, further back to Serpentine. Ash Run, mostly cloudy down the outside. It's Circle of Fire tackled by Athabaskan. A length off to Serpentine. Circle of Fire. Athabaskan. Now Carla Poor's running on on the inside, but Circle of Fire with a strong kick. A hundred out. Circle of Fire beating off Athabaskan. And Circle of Fire for Andre Adzeni takes out the Sydney Cup. Won it by two and a half to Athabaskan. Photo third. Probably Carla Poor in front of Serpentine. A gap back to Salino. Mostly clouding. A good gap then to Ash Runner. Followed by a Maiders. Beat uh, about half the field home at the end from Loft. So dazzling. Racing now, and Pride of Jenny jumped brilliantly towards the inside. Pride of Jenny in front, Mr. Brightside being sent forward on the outside. And Plaster Carousel goes straight to third. Then came Zarek, followed by Kovali, Kachaya Wolf. Now Buckaroo settles back in the field in front of the favourite Via Sestina, and the nine-year-old Cascadians last of all. So Pride of Jenny, a long leader in the early part. About four or five lengths in front. Mr Brightside went forward from the outside, and he's happy to sit in a long slipstream of Pride of Jenny. She's already off and gone at the 1,400 metres. She opens up by eight lengths. Mr Brightside wants to sit back and conserve his energy in second. 
three lengths away, Plaster Carousel, followed then by Zayrek. Further back to Kovalika, then the lone three-year-old Chaya Wharf. Via Sestina, the short price favourite, is third last from Buckaroo and Cascadian. Impossibly, his last day of racing is last of all. Well, Pride of Jenny, we expected her to lead by a long way, but seriously, 30 lengths? This is unbelievable. Pride of Jenny with sustained speed going to the 800 metres. I've never seen a horse this far in front in a Group 1. Pride of Jenny, the best part of 25 lengths clear. Mr Brightside Willow just wants to sit back for the time being, then Plaster Carousel the outside. Further back to Zarek Kovalika, followed by Chea Wolf via Sestina, Buckaroo and Cascadians last of all. She's still, this is unbelievable. Pride of Jenny, about 30 lengths in front in the Queen Elizabeth Stakes. She keeps going, coming up the rise. At the moment, Mr. Brightside is being challenged by Kovalika. And then came Buckaroo uh, via Sestina. She's winding up. She's getting to second. But Pride of Jenny at the 200. My goodness, 15 in front. Declan Bates goes for the whip. Riding a ride out. There's no need. This is a demolition job. Pride of Jenny in the Queen Elizabeth Stakes. My oh my, Via Sestina second, Mr Brightside third, Cascadian fourth, then Kovalika, Buckaroo, Plaster Carousel, Chaya Wharf and uh, Zayrek, the ride of the century, Declan Bates. Racing now and Arctic Lamma was last out and Tropical Squall as usual bounded out of the gates and is going to lead for fun Samana strides up on the outside going to second from Zoo Gotcha now White Out Osmos being sent forward in advance of Macarena who's three horses wide in the early part they're followed by Campion S route deep more secrets the rails and a tissue is pushing right between runners in the early stages they're followed then by Arctic Glamour has gone down to the rails from Eternal Flame Ruthless Dame out deep further back to Barbie's Fox, Alencia, three white and the white cap on the outside of Renaissance Woman and Madame Pomery's last of all. So Tropical Squall in front by a half to Osmo. Zugotcha gets to third in the leader's back position and a half the outside to Macarena. Two after more secret. Samana a bit keen the other. Then Campionessa on a three wide path from Arctic Glamour Tissue between them. So Tissue's about six lengths away from the favourite in the run. Further back to Ruthless Dame Barbie's Fox, Eternal Flame Alencia out wide and well back Back in the field, Renaissance Woman and Madame Pomery. Tropical Squall looking for another Group 1. Tropical Squall leads around the corner from the stable made Osmos. The favourite Zoo gotcha plonked in third and looking to take a run on the inside as Macarena pulls out. Tropical Squall up the rise, a narrow leader. Zoo gotcha's rallying the inside, then Macarena further back to Osmos. Samana inside the 150. Zoo gotcha joined Tropical Squall. Macarena is still there. Zoo gotcha got to a narrow lead from Macarena. A big run Late by a tissue. It's Zoo Gotcha in front from a tissue. Wide apart. A tissue lunge. Zoo Gotcha trying to cling on. Photo finish. Zoo Gotcha and a tissue. Then Macarena and Samana from Campionessa. Further back to Eternal Flame. Ruthless Dame. More secrets from Tropical Squall. Osmos was next from Barbie's Fox Alencia. Then came Arctic Glamour from Madame Pomery. And Renaissance Woman was one of the last to finish.